This is a short video on how to log into the eLearning portal. We'll start off by saying a little bit about what eLearning is, just in case this is your first time experience. Basically, eLearning is the use of technology to deliver, to support, and to enhance teaching and learning. So using the platform, we hope that you will be able to have your classes and all your learning resources available for you to learn. The KMTC eLearning portal is found at elearning.kmtc.ac.ke. When you type in this URL, it brings you to this page. And on this page, you will have a login button that's on the top right hand corner. When you press that, it takes you to this page, which is the login page. In this login page, you'll be required to put your username. Now, your username will be provided to you by, by the e-learning department. It, it is all caps. It usually is, would be formed from your names, and you have to use it in the order that it has been given to you, and all small caps. The password also would be uh, provided to you by the e-learning department. For the purposes of this video, the password has been put as change me at 20. This could be the same password given to you or another. The point is that it will have a capital, some small letters, a special character, and numbers. Again, you have to use it exactly in the format that has been provided to you. And once you insert your username and your password, you press the login button here. If you've not used put in your username or your password correctly, it will remain on this page until you invalid login, please try again. So you then would need to, again, type in your username, that is small caps, and then ensure that you type in your, um, your password again correctly, the way it has been given to you. If you have already logged in and you're not able, you've forgotten what your password was, you can press this forgotten username and password and have it reset for you. If you type in your username and password correctly, it brings you now to this page. As a first time login, you're required then to change the password that has been given to you to an, your own unique password. So your username is the one that was given to you. And then you type in the one that was uh, given, the password that was given to you, which is a change me at 20, or whichever uh, password that was given to you. Again, put it here and make sure you type it in correctly and then type in your own password and retype again your own password. Now, your own password must have at least eight characters. And of these eight characters, one must be a number and one must be lowercase, one must be uppercase, and one must have a special character, either the at or, or a question mark or um, asterisk, whichever special character you want to use. The order does not matter as long as they are all eight in total and you have a minimum of these as indicated. Once you put in your current password and the new passwords that you want to have, then you press the Save Changes button that's below here. If you press the Save Changes button and it remains on this page, it means you've typed something wrong. If the red writing is here, the current password, then you need to type it in again. And remember, it is the one that was given to you, either change me at 20 or change me at whatever else was, was. so you put it in there and then retype your new password and uh, uh, put in your new type password and retype and then press save changes again. <clears throat> if you've not typed in your new passwords correctly, it will sh when you press save changes, it will still show you these passwords do not match. So you then need to cancel or delete or clear and then retype each of these so that you make sure that they match. If you now have your current password correct and your new passwords correct, then it will allow for you to save changes and bring you to this page, which is a continue, which is continue. You press continue and it will take you to this page where you can edit your profile. You can change your password again. You might decide, I don't like that password I've just created, so you can change it again. The point is that you'd need to input the new password you had put and then put the one that you want to change it to and retype that one as well. I, I would ask you to uh, go and navigate through these buttons and see what they do and where they lead you to. 
if you decide to edit your profile, what aspects of your profile can you edit? You can't edit your names or your, um, or your email, but the bit that you can edit is your user picture. And I encourage you to um, upload your picture here, have a picture that you've saved on your desktop or on your phone, and then drag and drop it over here. Once you've dragged and drop, you can update your profile. You can also add, put these other additional names or interests if you want people to know more about you. Once you have saved changes, it then brings you to your dashboard. Here it's written dashboard and in the dashboard it shows you what courses you're enrolled in. Here I'm enrolled in two courses, I have e-learning course and a higher diploma course. It also you can also access your courses up here by pressing my courses. It also brings you to the KMTC official tweet where you can see any news or any tweets that are coming from KMTC that could be relevant to you. It also has some open educational resources for you to work through. It also shows you um, some assignments that could be waiting for you. Like here I have two assignments as you can see here on the upcoming events. So I can press my course, my e-learning course. Once I press that, it will navigate. It will automatically open my course and I can begin learning and working through all the content that has been provided for me. I hope this video uh, was useful and that you'll be able to log in without any challenges whatsoever.